Good evening from Maryland Stadium. The Terps find some offense and roll all over Illinois. Final score of 63-33. This is Wayne Viner. That's intern Mason Bruce is away from the microphone this evening. Mason, whoo, that's some score in there. Yeah, big play after big play. Just not really entertaining after it got to, what, 42 to 12? It was fun for me, 63 yards highlighted by Javon Leak. Four touchdowns. Uh, last time Maryland had four touchdowns? DJ Adams, 2010 Military Bowl. That's been a while. I don't know the last time Maryland scored 63 points, but boy, the offense showed up for second half. Illinois came out and looked like a threat just at the beginning of the game. They got a field goal, and then it's all Maryland until it uh, became more of a garbage time game. Yeah, could have been a game. I mean, Illinois four times in the red zone, four field goals. Those are touchdowns by the last field goal. The score would have been about 42 to 28. It could have, would have, should have, but Illinois just, you can see why they're having problems. Uh, Maryland, Illinois was the cure to Maryland's offensive woes. You saw Kasim pass the ball. You saw Javon Leak run the ball. And the guy that jumped off the field to me was Gote on special teams. He wears number 23. He had some rocking hits on the specials. This post-game show is brought to you by Viner Four Gates in Rockville, Meyer Consulting Engineers, and we're going to come back and talk some stats after this commercial break. We'll be right back. As we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. As we head towards the post-game press conference inside, it's getting a little chilly out here. Mason, you have some of those amazing stats from today's game. Yeah, and of course it's headlined by Kasim Hill. Still only 11 completions, 11 for 19, 265 and three touchdowns. Career high in yards and tied for a career high in touchdowns. Uh, let's see, Aconquo, my guy number 17, scores twice in the final yeah, quarter. One carry for 54 yards and a touchdown, and then the pass was 25 yards again for another touchdown. Right, um, Dante Demas comes up big, goes up and makes some of those catches that he wasn't making, especially at Iowa last week. Looked pretty good. Yeah, two catches, 69 yards, Solid game from Demas. Good to see the ball being caught. Ty Johnson did get injured in this game, a calf strain, and did not return for the second half. So for Ty, those records that he could have broken over these past two weeks, right. he might have lost those opportunities. Well, he's still a top four all-time ground or all-time yardage guy. It is a lot to be impressed about as Don Marcus walks by to the right. Um, most impressive thing that you saw today. Oof. Got to go with the offense, uh, and especially Kasim. The passes, 45-yard pass to Davenport that would have been a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Actually, not a 45-yard pass. Well, sort of bobbled that yeah. away. He drops that pass. He was wide open, would have walked into the end zone. Mm -hmm. It's just when the game mattered, like when it wasn't a all-Maryland affair, yeah. the receivers are still doing things that you don't want them to do, dropping passes, according to Lamont Jordan, rounding off routes. I mean, yeah. it's just... It's Look, it's better than last week. Show. It's starting to show, though, more and more that the receivers are as much hey. of a problem as the quarterback. Well, not that much of a problem today. By the way, just a note on last week, we didn't say it. The Iowa defense last week was really good. Yeah, and tonight they just got, they made the plays to beat Penn State. They scored. Just couldn't do it. 11 points on defense. Two safeties today for Iowa and a pick six. So. Well. Not, not so hot. Look, Illinois did put up as much of a fight there for a while as you would have wanted, and Maryland's offense 
defense carries the day for once. You do have to give props to defense when Illinois got the ball in the red zone, the defense stiffened up. Yeah, for zero for four touchdowns in the red zone, all you can ask for, look, the defense right. was good and then the backups came in, the game just kind of. Uh, two questions that will wrap this up as the band plays on behind us. Was anything wrong with Piggy or did they just not play him today? I just don't think, I think you need to sue to get some time. Just because okay. you did end up with your third stringer last year, you don't want to be put in that situation All again. Right. And we saw a Bortenschlager walk by in a boot, speaking of third stringers from last year. Was there anything wrong with Trey Watson? I saw Ely in the entire second half. Yeah, Watson went out with a targeting foul earlier in the game in I the first half. Must have missed that in, in transition around the stadium here. So, for Bruce Posner, that's intern Mason. I'm Wayne Viner. This is the Viner Four Gates post game show at Maryland Stadium. You could say the score this time. What is it? It's six, yes, 63 six. to 33, Maryland. Woo! One more win and we're bowl eligible. We'll see you. Well, we're going and getting this press conference and we will see you on the radio with the Young Terps podcast. Yeah, the podcast tomorrow. The radio Terp Talk, 6 o'clock on Wednesday. And then that carries us all the way to next week. And, and next week course, is Michigan State. And, of course, we have also have In the Nest tomorrow. Right. You'll be able to hear that on uh, TerpTalk.com. We have that show. It's coming up. Uh, we'll get that posted tonight. Good evening from College Park.